Remember, factors are expressions that are multiplied together to produce a product. Example 1. 4x and x minus 5 are factors of 4x squared minus 20x because 4x times x minus 5 equals 4x squared minus 20x. Example 2. x plus 1 and x minus 4 are binomial factors of x squared minus 3x minus 4 because if you multiply these together, they equal this polynomial. So they are factors. Factor the following. All right, let's practice our factoring. Here, we can see that they both have 2x in there. So if we remove a 2x, we, here we would have 1x left over, and here we'll have 2. So if we just want to check to make sure we factored correctly, all you have to do is multiply it out. 2x times x is 2x squared, plus sign 2x times 2 is 4x, which is exactly what we started with. And this is actually a great method to check to make sure you factored correctly. All right, let's factor this one right here. We have x and x. We're going to have two negative signs. Since the middle term is negative, but this term is positive, that means that both of these will be negative. And 2 and 4, they multiply together to, to equal 8. Negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8, but negative 2 plus negative 4 gives us negative 6, so this is our factored answer. All right, for this one, the first thing I'm going to do is actually factor out a negative sign, because that will make our lives a little easier. So once we factor out the negative sign, that switches all of the signs. So this becomes negative, and that becomes negative. Since this term's negative, we know we're going to have one plus sign and one negative sign. Now, so we have what numbers um, multiply together to get 12, but add together to get 1. That would be 3 and 4. And since the middle term is negative, we know that the larger number is going to be negative. Oh, I forgot the x here. x. So we have negative x plus 3 times x minus 4. Let's check to make sure that we're right. So I'm going to leave that negative sign out front. Multiply this together, we get x squared minus 4x plus 3x minus 12. And when we just uh, bring in the negative sign, we get negative x squared plus, four, uh, well, this would be negative x, so plus x plus 12. And that is what we started with, so we did it correctly. All right. And then here, let's begin by taking out a 2 from everything. So we'll just divide out a 2, leaving us with x squared plus 12x plus 20. Now let's factor this portion. So we have 2 times x times x. Everything's positive, so we'll have two plus signs. Uh, 10 and 2 multiply together to get 20, and they add up to 12. So here is our answer. And there we go. We got them all correct.